and they lived happily ever after. The end. Ugh, why is it always like that? Sammy, what's wrong? Don't you like the happy ending? It's not that, Sue. I also want to live in fairy tale. I want to live with treasures in the jungle, conquer the mountains, and stay in magical castles. Didn't you once live in Tibidabo? It was so long ago. I want all that now. Don't you get it? But do you know what's the most important thing in a fairy tale? What? Kings, castles, knights, dragons, treasure? No, the atmosphere. And it is created by the right entourage. What do you mean? Since both of us are crafters, let's create the right decorations by ourselves. Yay! I'm totally in! Hi guys, today we'll create a fairy tale entourage especially for our Sammy. Are we going to do that in these jars, Sue? They're so tiny! No, Sammy. These jars will become one of the elements of our magical interior. Oh, that's the job for me. Something here, something there, the bank is everywhere. Ah, <laughs> oh, so Sammy, how do you like the first decoration piece for our fairy tale interior? <laughs> Looks quite boring to me. Let's transform these jars into fruit! Oh, great idea! This will be an unusual fairy tale watermelon. I can help you with that. You're a really slow painter. Well, I can make a light green line here by myself, but for the pink part, I'm gonna need your help. Pink is my specialty. Here, I chose the best shape for the watermelon. Could you take a brush and help me? Together we'll do it much faster. Night Sam is always ready for great deeds. Here we go. <laughs> oh, my night. Thank you so much for turning this simple jar into a watermelon slice. Yeah, it wasn't easy, but I managed. Our watermelon is ready. I'm afraid our big berry's not ready just yet. Now, that's a real watermelon. <gasps> so beautiful. I wish I could taste it. We have one more jar. What shall we do with it? I have a great idea as always. Let's make a pineapple from it. Uh... A pineapple? I like that. We'll have another magical fruit. Check it out, Sammy. Just a couple of touches and we'll get our pineapple. And I'm already fairy tale like This will be my jungle camouflage. How do you like it? Whoa, that's very interesting. So there's a jungle in your fairy tale? Sure. And there's a lots of exotic fruit there. Oh, I wish I could go there too. But I'm gonna need some camouflage as well. It means that our pineapple needs a green top. My super speed will help us finish this task faster. Let's work together. The pineapple is almost ready. Soon it'll join the magical watermelon. Hi. I need to add something. Would you please give me that? Oh, now our pineapple looks real. That's true. With these details, it does look much better. Thanks, Sammy. And one more important touch. Our jars need some plants. <laughs> You're right. This way we'll get a real fairy tale forest where one can easily hide. Awesome. Now I'm like in a jungle. It's time to hunt some treasure. Yay. <sighs> Sue, what's up? Don't get carried away like that. Oh, <laughs> thank you for the help. You saved me from cutting out work. I know, I'm awesome. And I deserve the right to fly in a cloud. And you can proceed. <laughs> Whatever you say. Now we need a fabric. Soft and nice to the touch. That's how fairy tale clouds feel like, I guess. You can sleep on them. Oh, so soft. It's even softer than my own bed. Sammy, watch out. Now we'll do this. Hop. And this is just what we needed. Why isn't a foam paper soft like that? I can only ride on such a cloud, not cool. You can also fly. Fly, Super Sam, fly. Maybe you can find a fairy tale dragon. <laughs> With this stuff in our cloud will become even softer. I'm the greatest magician. My touch can make all the objects around here fly. <laughs> Maybe I could fly as well. <laughs> Don't forget, we need to finish our fairy tale panel first. The main part of our cloud panel is ready. Sammy, what are you doing here? I'm looking for some ribbons. I don't know how to make the rain, but I need the ribbons. Well, you took them out yesterday and put somewhere else. Ho ho ho. See? Even the cloud laughs at you. Let's see what we have here. Hop. Right! I wanted to learn how to make braids. Through my room. Wait here. I wasn't going anywhere. Our panel is not ready yet. Hey! Here you go. This is for the cloud. The fairy tale ring should be colorful. Woohoo! I like your idea. Let's combine the rain and the rainbow. Combine? <gasps> Can we make a braid? It'll be even prettier. Sammy, what are you doing? We need straight ribbons. Then let me do this, because I'm much faster than you. Oh, this is what you get when Super Sam is in his action mode. <laughs> I see. We've got some real magic rain now. And I'm 
not afraid to get wet, jumping in such puddles. Oh, look what I can do. Ah, uh, Sue, are we done yet? Or is it something else? Hmm, I guess something's coming. <gasps> look, it's like snow. Or not. Sammy, look. What's this? <gasps> Let me see. Uh-huh. Now it looks like big raindrops. Or some hailstones. Da -da, da -da, da -da. And our cloud likes the rain. Look how happy it is. Oh, you made it blush. Check out these bright cheeks. That's a real fairy tale cloud. It just needs a holder. Yes, it'll be easier to carry it around like this. <laughs> or huh? is it better to let it fly? Huh. I'm gonna ah. get you, Sammy. Ah. The cloud is alive! Sammy, it was a joke. Come back, we still have things to do. When I was a kid, I wanted to have a unicorn and ride it all over the backyard. What stops you from doing it now? Follow my lead. <laughs> I'll do it next time for sure. But for now, we'd better do this. Hop. Awesome. The good glue that had to stick, then you'll have your own unicorn. Um. Thanks, but I have other plans for this part. <laughs> I want to make our unicorn more voluminous and hide a surprise inside. Um, I have some cardboard left from, uh, something. Thanks, what were you talking about? Did you craft something without me? <gasps> you and Roger are hiding things from me again. Okay, I'll also craft an awesome thing without you two. That'll teach you. Oh yeah, give me this cardboard. I'll finish it all by myself. Sammy, give it back. Never! <laughs> Careful! How dare you! You can't do this to me! I'm super slimy! Oh, sorry, that was a bit too much. But check out this cool unicorn! And it's so shiny. Next, we're gonna need some foam paper strips. Can you bring them, please? Okay, I found this. Is it good enough, or should I keep searching? Oh, thanks, Sammy. This is actually a perfect match for our craft. Wow. <laughs> Then let me help you finish it! Make some touches here and there! Our craft needs only some lights. I wish I could find them somewhere. Uh, here they are, Sue! But I got tangled just a bit. Help me, please! Oh, Sammy, hold on. I'll remove it in a sec. Whoa, my head is spinning! Uh, I might be a slime, but I don't feel good. Are you okay, Sammy? Come back and let's keep crafting. Oh, I'm fine. It's not easy to destabilize me. Now let's finally add these lights to our unicorn. Oh, I'm on it, Prince Slining. <laughs> our little lights look like fireflies. And we have to hide them from everyone. Put them in the back of our unicorn. <laughs> Thanks, Sammy. I'll fix everything right now. Like this. <gasps> Great. And just check out our amazing night lamp. But there's one more thing left to do. Let's work on these two little guys. Wow, they're so cool! They definitely came from a fairy tale. What are we gonna do with them? Whee! We'll decorate them. But first, I need some masking tape. <gasps> Here it is! Did you want to say that we'll paint them? They have to be bright and look very real. We'll do that a little bit later. Now I'm gonna show you a trick. A trick? But that's my job! What are you up to, Sue? We'll cover several spots so that our magical creatures have some white spots on their skin. You see? Here and there. And one more here. Now these guys will be spotted and striped. Wouldn't that be easier to just add some white paint to their skin? All right, Susie, what's that thing with the tape? Look, we'll remove it now and get a great result. I know what else we need. Some rhinestones decor. <gasps> wow, when did you do that? Did you read my mind? <laughs> well, I guess great minds think alike. The rhinestones look so beautiful. I have a great idea. Can I write them? I can stand. I can stand. Uh, almost. Whoa! Sammy, be careful. Uh. They're not vehicles. Don't climb on them. And now we can finally create a real fairy tale entourage.
in a fairy tale. I'm a treasure hunter. Now I'm in the jungle. And I see the path just right for me. Oh, my feta, why did I agree to that? Sue, hold it still. It's a magical cloud about the cave entrance. There's only one step left in my tough way to the treasure. And what are you going to do about these treasure guardians? <laughs> Now it's mine! All mine! Welcome to the fairy tale, Sammy. It's me. Holy cannoli! A magical unicorn! And it talks! Sammy, are you okay? It was just me. Well, I guess he can't hear me. Sammy got stuck in a fairy tale, and you can join him in our next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye! Oh, magical unicorn, talk to me more, please!